Guys, how are we doing? Welcome to the channel. Today we are talking about flail mowers, okay? This is a brand new product for me here, the Del Marino Funny Top Series here. You're going to see this is a manual offset, okay? They do have a hydraulic offset as well, but what I like about the manual is the fact that most tractors don't have those additional hydraulic options, okay? So this kind of is built for the masses, right? And so if you do have an additional hydraulic function on your tractor, don't worry, we can get something for you as well, but we're focusing on the manual version today. Again, appealing to a lot wider or a lot larger market base that's out there, especially on these smaller tractors like the subcompacts. This is a John Deere 1025R tractor right here. So that's what these are really built for, those smaller machines, your 12 to 35 horsepower, okay? So yeah, you can get into some smaller compacts as well to be certain. These are gonna be available in a 32, 42, 52, and 62 inch width increments, okay? So what you're gonna see right here, this is a 52 inch wide version, okay? You can get them again in all those different sizes, but this appears to be a pretty popular size for the subcompact, so that's what I went with. It's gonna have Y blades on there. You can also get hammer blades. I'll get into that and the differences uh, for the application that you would want either one, as well as the general specifications, okay? But I'm gonna do another video where I actually take this out. We own a, a, a property where we do some nature trail trimming and everything for a daycare center that we own. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this bad boy out there in another video. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. That way you can get notified when I do that video in case you're interested in checking one of these out. And while you're at it, read through that description below, right underneath the video there, a lot of helpful links. You can get to my website, a lot of other places where you can get 5% off with discount code GWT. So first I'm gonna go through some general specifications, the overview of the flail mower itself, but then I'm gonna get into some questions. So I posted something on YouTube and on Facebook and um, Instagram as well, just asking for some feedback. If you guys had questions, I'd try to get them answered in this video here, okay? But if I haven't answered your question yet, leave a comment below as well. And if I can't answer it, perhaps somebody else can, or we can get an answer by the time we get to that follow-up video there where we show this thing in action. So first of all, these bad boys are made in Italy, okay? And so they are imported, they come on over here, you know, truckload or container at a time, I should say. And so when they're gone, sometimes they are out of stock for a little while, but then we go ahead and replenish them and get a whole bunch more in stock. I already touched on the fact these are designed for small tractors, okay? That's great for a huge portion of the folks that are watching this video because that's what we're all about, right? The small tractors and making them work and using them to the best of their abilities. These are the manual offset version. You can get a hydraulic offset version. If you want the hydraulic version though, you gotta have a third function, another outlet somewhere on here to be able to plug in and make that bad boy with a lever or a button or something uh, angle this way or that way, all right? However, that being said, this is set over as far as you can get, the farthest point over, and I'm running dual uh, wheels here, okay? And you can see it still extends beyond this 12 inch wide second wheel that we have going on here. So it's naturally a little bit offset already where it kind of lines up over here and then you know, extends out over to, uh, what would this be, the right side, I guess, if you're, if you're on the back side here. But it's also gonna depend on the width. This is 52 inch, if you have a 42 or a 32, gonna be a whole different story. Or if you have a 62, going even further out. They're gonna have an eight inch offset to either side. Okay, so if you want to adjust it then, you know, and I'm still trying to find the, the proper height. I feel like there's probably a height that's a little bit easier to get it to move back and forth, but it does take a little bit of effort. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. So. You pull out the little uh, bottom pin there and then um, it wants to naturally go that way a little bit. So just pull on it a little bit and then you can get that pin out and you can basically at that point just adjust it to whatever, you know, slot you want. So if you want all the way over to the other side, you know, then you can just kind of kind of wiggle it back and forth, get it down in there. But uh, go to whatever position you want. This is going to be the right about here. That's about the center position right there um, where, you know, it's pretty much this side over here, just so you know, is aligned with the uh, the regular tire here and it's still going to be offset over on that side again being the 52 inch model here but i'm going to go ahead and and just kind of shift it over that way again and get it right down in there and put it back in place so one of the big decisions you have to make is if you want a Y blade or a hammer blade, okay? And so what a Y blade is, it's gonna be great for grasses, weeds, that kind of thing, not like trunks, okay? Uh, not stalks or anything like that where you have shrubs and that kind of thing. For the kind of like a, an open field that you're just out there mowing a handful of times a year, gonna be great for that and gonna give you a lot finer, a lot cleaner finish. Um, there's not really a, a maximum height, you know, but of course the, the taller your growth is, the longer it's going to take to cut it. So if you're going too fast, it's not going to leave a very good finished product. So still, if you can get on top of it more frequently, it's going to give you a better result in the end. But if you do have the dense undergrowth, you know, shrubs, uh, just that brush that's overgrown and a lot of thicker stems, 
the hammer blades, they're gonna cut up to an inch and a half diameter, and that's what those hammer blades, I kinda like that name, that's what they're used for, right? That thicker, nastier stuff can go ahead and chew right through that, all right? So you gotta make a decision there what way you're gonna go. But keep in mind, it wouldn't be fun, I'm not gonna say this is gonna be fun, but you can actually swap out if you wanted to all the individual teeth, you know, if you wanted to switch from hammer blade to Y blade or vice versa. I have not counted how many teeth are on here, but it's a lot, okay? So that would not be a fun process of unbolting, you know, taking the nut off each one and swapping them out, but it can be done. Weights of these bad boys, they're not too much, okay? On the small end with a 32 inch, you're looking at 286 pounds. And on the big end, you know, the 62 inch, you're looking at 418 pounds. So about a 130, 140 pound difference from the very smallest to the largest. So you're gonna fall right within that range. It's a very um, manageable size for these smaller tractors as well. And on that note, getting into a question about counterweight or ballast weight or offset weight that you might need to handle one of these. Well, you know, I've put this on here. Of course, I have a lot of this lateral stability here because of the dual wheel setup that I have going on. But if you didn't, you know, I've seen some videos. Tractor Time with Tim has done a video as well. I have not seen any other kind of counterweights really on there. So the thought behind that in my mind is that this is a transport position that we're in right here, okay? So how a flail mower works is that it's gonna be lowered all the way to the ground and there's gonna be this roller that this thing just rides along on. And so if you wanna adjust your cutting height, you adjust the roller height to make it go up or down. That way when you lower it all the way down, you're riding on that surface there and it's mowing along, okay? And you can adjust this from one to four inches tall. But as far as ballast weight goes, I don't really think you need much side to side here. If anything, you have your loader on the front, it gives you a little bit of that counterweight up there. If you don't have a loader on, go ahead, get your weight bracket and maybe just put four to six, maybe eight suitcase weights up there, whatever you have available. It's definitely gonna take some of that bounce out of the ride then. So some other features of the flail mowers here as well, okay? Again, you have that eight inch offset to either side. You're gonna have a built-in parking stand right here as well. Now you're gonna have grease zerks for maintenance, easy maintenance in a lot of locations. You got one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, I think there's two more over there. So there's like, what, nine Zerks on here. Real easy to get to, real easy to access. Again, get yourself a lube shuttle if you haven't done so already. 5% off, discount code GWT. One of the other nice things over here on this side is you're gonna have a belt tensioner. You can kind of see this set screw right here that allows you to just tighten it down or loosen it up to have the proper amount of tension on there. And it's also gonna have a shear bolt protection system on here. Now, something to keep in mind, when I hook this up to the 1025R here, you're gonna notice there's no quick hitch that's mounted on here. This thing is way too narrow to be quick hitch compatible. I don't know why any manufacturer would make something that's not quick hitch compatible. It just seems like a no brainer to me, but it is what it is. So no quick hitch on here, but I did not have to mess with the drive shaft at all. Just this is exactly how it came. Didn't have to cut it down at all. Just fit right on here, just like you see. One thing to keep in mind as well, when you get this, let it run for about a 15 minute um, break in time. All right. So that's a, one of the things that specifically mentions here. So I've already put that through here. So turn your tractor on, fire it up low RPMs and slowly raise the RPMs up till you get to 540 RPMs on the rear PTO here, the rated speed for it. Let it do its thing, then it'll be ready to go. There was a few good questions that I don't really know the answer to, okay? So maybe you guys that have run both the flail mowers, the rotary cutters, the finish mowers already, maybe you'll have some insight into that. You know, I don't know where exactly this thing falls in between the whole spectrum of uh, brush hog and flail mower and uh, finish mower, okay? Maybe it is right there in the middle where it's gonna do a little bit finer job potentially with these Y blades on here. I would find it hard to believe that it's gonna give you as crisp and clean of a cut as a finish mower would do. Um, but it's probably gonna be a lot finer and more even cut than what a, a rotary cutter would do. So one of the other advantages of a flail mower is gonna be the general safety of it. So with a brush hog, you think about it, you have chain guards or rubber guards, wherever it is on there, but uh, big old blades on there, and they potentially kick things out, stone, um, sticks, whatever it might be, just fling them out there. And you might've seen some of these things if you're driving down the road in the field or if you've used one before. So one of the benefits with the flail is that it tends to trap everything right underneath there. Again, this back roller is on the ground and the front is clearly very low to the ground as well. So everything's just kind of right in there getting chopped up and it's supposed to be a lot safer um, around public spaces you know whether it's a school or some other public park or area where there could be other people around you can have a lot lower likelihood of debris flying out although it definitely does recommend to stay 50 meters back there's a big old sticker right here so you still want to keep your distance but it's just something to keep in mind Hey, really quick, I wanna tell you about some super cool products from Muds Customs, okay? Backhoe grab handle, you can mount it right on there if you want to. 
You can get these loader mounted grab handles. They're gonna bolt right down there. I just got these things in, super exciting. Um, look at this, even tie downs, okay? Put them right in the front of your tractor, actual tie down points for your tractor as well. Muds Customs, the link is below. Uh, Goodworks Tractors, okay, you get a discount. GWT, type in GWT, get 5% off your order. Look at this, another super cool one. Step, okay, these 1025s, they don't have steps on them. Go ahead, look at that, even a built-in tie-down strap right there. And it comes with, uh, where's it at? On the other side, so you'll have a matching set. So you have a tie-down point on either side of your machine at that point. These are mirror extensions, okay? So if you do get these grab handles to, put, to mount on your loader, you can get a mirror extension as well. That way it sticks up further. These things are built stout. I don't know if you can see this stuff, um, but when I looked at the pictures on Muds Customs website, this stuff looks pretty tiny, but it's actually all way beefier than I thought it was gonna be. Last thing, take a look really quick here. Receiver plate, all right? Look at that. You have built-in tie-down points right here. You have a little built-in pinhole right here to put on a ball or whatever if you want to. And then also the receiver too. So really well thought out design right here. I like it a lot. 5% off discount code GWT. Well, again, this is an overview of the Del Marino Funny Top Series manual offset flail mower for the 12 to 35 horsepower tractors. Kind of right in that sweet spot for the subcompacts there and the small compacts as well. Again, 32, 42, 52, 62 inch variants, all right? Again, if you haven't done so yet, consider hitting that subscribe button right underneath the video. Make sure you read through the description as well. A lot of helpful links down there for all you tractor lovers. And check out the other videos on my channel. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.